Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Happy Shabbat. Just letting you know, this ain't the Shabbat teaching. <laughs> That's going to be on a little later on today. God has planted some stuff in my life that, you know, got me kind of trying to get reorganized and, you know, time management. So it'll be posted later on today. It is going to be on brokenness. It's a few scriptures in the New Testament on brokenness and dealing with brokenness, you know, according to the scriptures. But today, for a moment before I go in this store here, I wanted to talk about transparency. I was asked, you know, why are you always, you know, on YouTube? Why are you so transparent? And that's because you know, you can trust people that's transparent. You can't really trust somebody that's hiding or, you know, transparent people ain't got nothing to hide. You know, when they start shutting down and hiding certain things, then you know that, you know, maybe there's something there. Um, I grew up in an age and an era where you really couldn't get to fellowship with the pastors and the leaders. You know, you couldn't hang out their house. Um, you couldn't get to know how they really was living because they had some things that was, you know, that they were hiding. Now, no man is perfect. Like I always say, perfection is not a destination. It's a process. Um, so we ain't supposed to find nobody perfect. You know, you go to somebody's house and, you know, it's a little messy or whatever. You can't judge them. You know, you know, nobody's perfect. Everybody got their own cross to bear, their own thing that God is dealing with them. If God ain't dealing with them, I say stay away. Stay far, far away. Because, you know, God is through with them. God is not done with us. I know this because God is still in control. He's still handling everything. Even though we got wars and rumors of wars and everything going on, God is still in control. He's still... You know, got his hand on God's on in the heart on the hearts of God's people. You know, we need to, you know, humble ourselves. You know, seek His face. We need to pray. Um, but going back to being transparent, I'm not perfect. You know, God called me to be the pastor of this church, not because I was perfect, not because um, I was the only person fit for the job. I was the person that he chose for the job. So, and it wasn't because I felt I was ready. You know, up to us, we ain't never ready. You know, then if those ones that always think they are ready, putting their stuff in place, and they ain't got the opinion or the, the permission of anybody else, they just doing it on their own. Like I say, stay far, far away. They have an agenda. Those are the wicked ones, the evil ones. But, um... God put me in place, and I just have to line up with God. Um, there's going to be a pastoral installation, the 22nd, if the Lord says the same. We're getting everything in process because I'm not a person that want to procrastinate. It ain't got to be no big gala or anything like that. You know, it's not about me. It's about the Lord. It's just a sign, a signification that something is happening, that something's in place. And then we can move forward to the next but I just want to talk about transparency today, being transparent. Anybody can go on my YouTube channel and see the real me, how I, my heart is. Um, like I said, back in the day, you couldn't hang out with the leaders. You couldn't hang around the leaders because the leaders had to be so um, closed off. They didn't want you to know they secret, they stuff because how dare they preach against what they doing? You know, that kind of thing. Those who are transparent aren't doing anything. They don't have anything to hide. Therefore, they can preach against anything. You know, they can preach the whole Bible. They can preach the truth because they walk in truth. So, I just want to come on here and talk about transparency. There was a young lady the other day also, I just remembered, who was talking about keep up with my YouTube channel. You know, there's a word there. You know, I appreciate her saying that. I know that was confirmation from God because I was getting ready to just let it go because I have so much on my plate. 
But God was letting me know that that's one thing not to keep up, you know, not to let go of. Then there are some that don't want me to have a YouTube channel. They told me, you know, you don't need a YouTube channel. Well, I beg to differ because there are people that is helping, you know. They're in the, normally, that's the ones that's, you know, I done said something or something done come across the YouTube channel that's convicting to them. Or it may have been something that was exposed that they was doing. You know, you got to be careful with the company that you keep. Because if you're coming against the thing that they're doing, they turn into enemies. And all of a sudden, you know, they don't want to be around you. Or they want to come against you. You know, but that's why you get got to be rooted and grounded in God, in his word. His word got to be written on the tablets of your heart. You have to be, because if not, the enemy will come and steal, kill, and destroy. He'll just do anything in your life and defame you and take advantage of you. We just witnessed this. That's a whole testimony. There's a couple videos back, you know, it was started. But there was an individual that just was really doing the most taking advantage of you know elders seniors you know using the church account to pay their bills and stuff if you coming into this to get your bills paid to supplement your income to you know get a raise you know get a paycheck from gods or off gods people this ain't for you because the scripture tells i think it's mark 14 and 20 it talks about those that are living off the widows. They going to get worse. God is not pleased with that. You know, he tends to the least of these. And they're part of the least of these. So, I am, you know, I'm being installed as pastor by the grace of God. But I'm not on the board. And I'm not um, in on no bank account. No, nothing like that. I don't. I got my own. Too much. That's enough for me to deal with. My own nonprofit. My own personal bank account. I came in blessed, and that's another thing. We putting in people in place, and we don't know nothing about them or what they're going through or what they're doing. And next thing you know, they going through all kind of financial struggles, and they looking on the church to to they looking to profit off the church. That ain't right. So, and I'm saying more pass more than the benevolent fund yeah there are times people need help i believe that but help and raping is two different things it's just two different things but anyway i'm gonna get off of here and go on in here in this store and get a few things and i got some other business to take care of before service tomorrow um by the grace of god the first message as you know potential pastor will be preached tomorrow we going to have a business meeting afterward. But look forward to the, uh, October 22nd. The flyer will be put up uh, probably on my Facebook page. Um, and anywhere else, I probably send it, you know, maybe like to emails or whatever. But I'll get the word out there. But I just want to come on here and talk about being transparent. When you're transparent, you ain't got nothing to hide. You know, people can see you. You know, they know what they, they trust what they see, you know. Um, if you always be in hiding and you always got, you know, you're not open and honest, you know, that's a red flag to people. Um, you got to be transparent to be trusting, to be trustworthy. Um, I ain't say tell all your business, but don't be so tied up to where people, you know, they got doubts or wonders, you know. If you say something, there should be some evidence. There should be documentation beats speculation. I say that all the time. Documentation beats speculation. That's why I say, I never say anything unless I got something to prove it. You know, as far as, you know, coming against somebody. Um, I knew what this individual was doing. But I really didn't say anything until I got documentation. And when we got documentation and we got the bank statements was documentation, we knew what was going on. We knew, you know, what was to be had. And I gave it to him. And then the next thing you know, God bless. Because I helped without wanting to, you know, get a reward. God blesses me already. I don't need to get a reward off anybody else. 
you know, he supplies all my needs. I don't have to run out there and try to get all my needs off of people. That's the difference. You know, if people give to me, if they want to bless me with an offering out of appreciation, that's them. But it won't come from Dr. Bell. Dr. Bell won't be asking for nothing. I ask God. That's who it, who it is. And you won't, I, won't be, I don't have no card to slide. For this individual, just be running around sliding the card, paying title loans and credit card payments. That's somebody that has no respect for God. And, you know, we got to pray for them. That's all I'm going to say is we got to pray for them because hell is hot and that's hell bound um, we pray that that individual repents but anyway like I said I'm going to pop off here and stop wasting this gas <laughs> I ain't going to say wasted stop spending this gas but I'm going to go in here and win color it looked pretty full today I don't know I don't be standing in no lines y'all know I don't like no lines but um, go in here and get a few things and get back to the house um Waiting on my daughter in her rehearsal or whatever and get back to the house. I had a beautiful business meeting yesterday with my apostle, um, my covering. So everything is going forward. Everything is in, in the will of God, in the grace of God. And I just wanted to come on here and say, hey, uh, Shabbat teachings will be posted later. Um, it probably won't be uploaded till tomorrow or or Monday maybe, but uh, it'll be done later on the Shabbat. But like I say, it's about brokenness, you know, the scriptures in the New Testament. But like I say, I just want to encourage you today. Be transparent. If there's areas in your life that you feel like you can't be transparent, I would take inventory, find out why. What are you trying to hide? What do you, I mean, you know, is there a reason to hide? You know, God may be calling you to come clean on some things. Bring it before the Lord. Y'all stay blessed.